And I saw on for four years. So like I'm just gonna use it so I can get across. Hi Mama Rose. Please, please, just uh, just some information for you American kids and even for you French kids about the chateau. The chateau de Cire sur Blaise is very famous because for a very long period of time, uh, one of the most famous French writers and philosophers, whose name was Voltaire, oh lived God. in the castle. Oh my God. He was not the owner of the castle. He just was uh, hosted by a very rich lady. Now, they were lovers. Uh -huh. We know that. And the husband, who was a very rich person, lived in Versailles. Okay, so we had three times. Now, Voltaire came to this chateau from Paris because he wrote very, very controversial things and papers about the king and about the French government at the time, 18th century. That was before the French Revolution. And Voltaire and a few other philosophers are the originators of the French Revolution. They were not against monarchy, they were against the king because they believed the king was not doing the right thing. So, in a way, they are the original creators of your country. The independence was also based on these people's, on these philosophers' ideas. So this is very important. The chateau we're going to visit is inhabited by the owners. They're not descendants of the lady who owned the chateau at the time of Voltaire, but they're aristocrats, and this is their home, okay? And last thing, the lady who owned the chateau, uh, Voltaire's lover, died at a very old age for the time. When she was pregnant, she gave birth to a baby girl from another lover she had, not from Voltaire or her husband, and uh, she died uh, after, and uh, Voltaire was not really a very nice gentleman and tried to kill uh, the girl's father. So that's a trivial thing, but it shows you that you can be a philosopher with great ideas and still be a not a very nice person. Okay. Going to a castle. Going to a castle. Going to a castle. Going to a castle. I totally going to a castle. Going to a castle. This is the Americans storming the castle. Who's that? Hey. And uh, we're, we're we're so <laughs> we're so civilized when we storm castles that we we, we take the sidewalks. <laughs> we're coming. We don't want to. We don't want to be too rude. This hill's too steep. I mean, don't mess up the grass. If, if, if we're gonna take the castle, yeah, we, we don't want to. We don't want to put dead spots all over the grass. We're gonna be owning it. Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't want to do that lawn care, so we'll just we'll just take it via the sidewalk. <laughs> I think this is the road. Maybe. Okay, the road. This isn't like the side of anything. I'm I'm walking on the sidewalk. Actually, I think this is a ditch. Yeah. No resistance so far. Just the, uh, just the incline. Yeah, yeah. Natural instinct, uh, you just give up and turn around and go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually they don't get so much, uh, so much... I can't believe I can't think of the word. Exercise. No. I don't know. Incline? It's like taking Smith Hill. I'm, I'm so tired. I didn't realize jet lag could last a week. The big tray that's that. been, uh, trimmed and pruned. Actually, they had to fell a very, very, very old tree that Voltaire oh. knew at the time because it was, uh, it was really threatening wow. to fall on the uh, on one side. That's what they had to do. So in France, they're tree murderers. <laughs> um, For safety, though. For safety. Well, that's what happened in Owasso. That's what happens all the time in Owasso. <laughs> Actually, that's Mrs. Zamor. He just kills trees and <laughs> makes paper.
<laughs> and Mr. Major. Oh, yeah. Miss Hendrix yeah. kills the colored trees. <laughs> oh, hi, Tunde. Ashen's a little bit cold. A little bit. Can you imagine that that tree is as old as Voltaire? Older. Count the rings, see how old it is. Uh, do 172. That's just that branch. <laughs> Check out that branch. <laughs> oh my. That one back there. Which one? In the middle. Oh, right. And this is us uh, waiting for them to set up their defenses before we storm the rest of the castle. I have to count you, so I want you to just stand in line in twos and go there. Okay, so, two, two. Deux. You guys were two. <laughs> so, did she say stand in line? Yeah. yeah. Well, in twos. In twos. In, in twos. So we're done. Stand right there. We're done? We're, 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 we're done? We're AP students. We can figure this out. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I've taken a three minute video. You know, for somebody who um, owns a. Okay, maybe you see that picture where. So, 17th century, 18th century, 17th century, 18th century. Okay, so everything in France has meaning, but I don't have a lot of time to explain. So, real quick. Life, death, art, industry. After a lot of waiting, we're finally storming the castle. <laughs> We've breached the wall. <laughs> and the castle's actually colder than it is outside. <laughs> okay, so we successfully stormed the castle. Um, now. It was pictures inside the castle, unfortunately. Yeah, so uh, even though it was beautiful, sorry, sorry, Mrs. I, I Hall. I have no record of it. Um, it was colder in the castle. You zoomed in really far. Really? Oh, no. Or is it just? That means that means it wasn't taken. Woo! You no, zoomed it in really... all the way. What is wrong no, with I you? No, I zoomed. I tried to zoom it out. It, it zoomed. You, you, you tried to zoom it out by pressing the plus button. No, I was pressing the minus button, and it was already like that whenever oh. I got there. Them. Walking. I think that's. I mean, yeah. It was. It was pretty, but it was cold. It's pretty so, cold. Pretty cold. Pretty cold. Pretty cold. It was John Deere green on a hot summer night. It grew Billy Bob Love Charlene. I rode it three foot, three meters, three something high. And the whole town said the boy should have used rouge, but it looks good to Charlene. In John Deere, there. I feel like that would be like the most genuine.